I just realized all this time my mic was muted. Okay, so starting over. This is the Attack on Titan tribute game. Based on the anime Attack on Titan. You can customize your characters. And as you can see, I have custom sprites to look like the wall garrison. I think by default they give you either uh, the base skins can be either training core or, or uh, survey core. Yeah, this game was made, got started by the programmer Finn League and uh, expanded from there. You have to hit the nape of the net to defeat the Titan. And the mode I'm currently set in, it doesn't matter what damage you hit it with, any hit to the nape will defeat the Titan. You can disable them with like leg hits though or eye hits. I think you can also do an arm hit to disable, I can't remember for sure. The special I chose is Mikasa, which is this one.
things to keep in mind in this game is when you hook a titan, you have to wait a delay before you can reel in. It's a rather short delay, but at, at how fast paced this game is, it's not significant. This guy looks like an aberrant, okay, but I don't know, he could be a jumper. You saw the jumper earlier, the one that was jumping high in the air. Jumpers and aberrants have very similar attack patterns. The only difference is uh, jumpers can j jump high. Or they use their ability to jump high, it's probably more accurate to say. Was too high. Mm. Mm. Gas bursting is what you see me to jump out of the way quickly. It takes a percentage of your total gas, so you, you have to limit how much you do that. But at the same time, I mean, you get one shot in this game, you have to dodge attacks. This is a normal hard titan, I should say. Normal as in it's not an aberrant. But it does have the hard titan AI. I've seen some very good people play this game and what they what they do is they don't run into the back of the necks like you see me doing. They actually glide past the back of the neck, slicing as they're gliding past it. But that's what you ideally want to do because you don't want to be near the Titan. You don't want to ever stop moving or you can get stuck somewhere. Like for example, if you're fighting a Titan that has a, a, a really high HP bar and you don't hit for enough damage, the Titan can immediately attack you, and since they're not dead, they'll be able to attack you. A little trait you can do if you want to move quickly on the ground, with not reel to in uh, onto anything, is you can uh, reel hit hook the ground and then uh, jump in the air and you'll start taking flight. Well, not taking flight, but start being pulled by the reel because the reel doesn't pull when you're on the ground sometimes.
You see my, uh, my hook or wire is sometimes getting longer or shorter rapidly. It's, that's referred to as railing. And it's probably the only way you can fight, uh, harder titans because they move too fast to kill them without reeling. Unless you're really good at gliding past them, which I am not. Oh, this is one of the hardest titans there is. It's a, uh, punk. Really, that hit? Oh, that's right, he can predict your movements. Rock throwing titans referred to as punks. And you have to constantly change your path around them. The only thing harder than that would be the boss titans, like the, uh... Like the uh, giant titan, or the female titan. But I believe there's also someone that made the uh, beast titan as well, and the armor titan. So, this game launched earlier with just the female titan and the giant titan. May only be in some versions of the game that have those other titans. I might learn how to glide if I just practice slicing the side of trees without running into them. So far, I'm 110 with the Titans, as you can see. I needed to reel that earlier, but I was at the cool limit because of it just grabbed on. That one of that last ones. See, you have to. Yeah, you can be aimed perfectly, but if you also have to watch their actions if they uh turn around it can uh, just mess up your aim entirely so you have to know when when they're about to turn and under what circumstances oh an aberrant of some type is it a jumper type 
Probably would have jumped in the air earlier if it was, so it's a regular aberrant. I think the, the most preferred special ability in this one is levies, where you uh, shoot out a wire and spin around with your blades. As you can reel during that, which is very important, and you can... And it gives you a wide blade hit area. Other useful ones includes Armin's, which... Uh, you can distract the titan and stop their current action. Though that has like a one minute cooldown. short one. Now, the aberrants move so fast that if you sh wait to shoot your hook by the time they're standing up straight, they'd already be gone from that position by the time you, uh, hook actually arrives there. Oh, it's just a punk. Yes, it is. And I hooked wrong. Hoping my constantly moving trajectory was enough to uh, do it, but apparently I was going in a straight line.
Let's see, top left shoulder, try to hook that. No, too low. And his attack messed up the trajectory. Yeah, ideally, you want to uh, hook and start your attack approach outside of their attack range because you don't want to risk th their animation changing from, be from their being in their attack range. See, like, this is way too close to start an attack normally. Like, ideally, you want to grab way outside the range. Of course, that requires that you actually hit when you do try to hit. See, this is too close because it starts his attack animation. Oh, these Titans have something called Shadow Grab, where they can, uh, if they start their animation before you get there, they can, uh, grab you as you approach them. Which is something that pl player control Titans tend to try to use. I'm ideally trying to learn is how to play so that I can keep gas running and I just go straight as fast as possible. Right, that would have worked on a small time, but not someone as big as him. See, I waited for him to turn one more time, and then I reeled a little past that and then went in, and so my hit actually landed. The, the uh, wire range is roughly 120 units, which I assume is meters. Yeah, you don't want to run into Titans. That's a good way to get killed. Because <laughs> it triggers their attack animation and you can't really move because of the structure of their body. Get away from some of these trees.
that's another strategy. As you wrap around, you go between your different wires to get a better and better wire instead of trying to get one perfect wire from the get-go. I also see things where, like, if 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 your wire is missed in a bad angle, for uh, like too high, for example, you. That's weird. Why did my attack not happen when I pressed it? Like, if if you wire too high on the back of the head, you let yourself get real low when the uh, wire wrapping around, so that as you reel in. You slice up, up from bottom to top and hit the spot you're actually aiming for. Now, feel free to ask about anything randomly. Oh, it looks like one of those harder titans. See by the rocks being pummeled towards me. Those punks. Oh, I thought I was out of range of that. <laughs> and Punks can use abilities back to back really fast. <laughs> Some type of aberrant, it's either a... Well, aberrant, yeah, it was the normal kind. That's how you get killed, doing things like that. I think I would have hit if he didn't start his attack animation. Which is really dangerous, you don't want them this close to each other. that I hooked the wrong spot, but I knew that wrong spot would stay there. It was a right elevation, and I knew it would stay there for a while, so I quickly uh, reeled around and uh, looped around and then reeled into it. Knowing I only had so much time before he'd move his hands and it would mess up my reel.
Where was that nape if I hit that close to him? Every model has a slightly different nape location. You basically have to learn it on a model per model basis. Let's fly over there. Ah, turned at the last second. his attack range so he could do an animation at any moment. Oh, it's a punk. Wow, wait, I thought he was gonna throw another direction and for a moment. <laughs> Dead. Mm, could not move fast enough. I got slowed down right as he started his throw. Looks like that arm wrapped around as it was going forward. Hear that titan sneaking up on me behind me. Ah, 
See that? That was very close to what gliding past the Titan looks like. That's the, uh, salute and attack on Titan. Well, good night, everyone. Uh, see you later. Because I don't have any other ending scene, I'll just use this.